Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to repair a crane faucet. Uh, this is your simple set of 4 inch centers. Um, they also come in 8 inch and 4 inch being the width of the handle to handle center. Um, very first thing to do whenever working on any faucet, this one has a chain on it, is to take that and stick it in the drain. And the reason I say that, if something happens to come off the one of the handles or whatever, it will be down the drain and you'll be looking for another part. Or taking the clean out from the trap and hopefully getting your part back. Um, crane makes a metal handle and an acrylic handle. Uh, it's just a matter of popping the top off of the handle. There's a Phillips screw inside here. And the handle lifts off. Uh, so we take the cap, same thing, you take the cap off of this handle, it's a Phillips screwdriver, it removes the screw, pop it up, and with the acrylic handle there's another piece of chrome here that they've put in order for the handle to clasp onto the faucet well. Um, if for some reason that is a little stiff, <clears throat> you're going to, you're going to turn your handle so that it goes up all the way put a set of needle nose pliers in underneath and just work it back and forth and I've loosened this up before I've changed the handle from the metal to the acrylic just for demonstration but uh, from here you take a crescent wrench and rigid has come up with a wrench which serves a number of purposes which I purchased. And this is a packing nut that holds a gasket in place to prevent any wire from coming out around the cartridge. Um, and there is a gasket. This one is made of leather. So I'm tossing that to the side. They're made of leather, they're made of rubber, they're also made of cork. And today the most common is cork because it's the cheapest of, uh, of the gaskets, but they all do the same purpose and they work the same. Rubber, I like that, you can usually actually reuse it, but uh, anyway, it's up to your, yourself. Uh, this, crane this rigid wrench actually fit on that nut and it also fits on the cartridge I just found out. And that was a little snug. And a crescent wrench will serve the exact same purpose here. The water. Take a towel. Put it in place. Um, and this is a hot cartridge. Um, the hot and the cold turn in separate directions, but when I'm replacing replacing the cartridge, I use cold all the time. Therefore, the cold and hot shut off the same way. Um, the only time that you really need a cartridge to swing to the left is if you have dialies handles, which are the blade handles. You'll see them in hospitals and restaurants and so on. But, uh, there's a crane, new crane cartridge, it's a cold. And this is your regular stem that goes inside the bonnet. Um, but with this cartridge, it's a manel end on it. The water here is exceptionally hard. So I use manel ends and <clears throat> they're quite a bit more expensive. Um, it's just a matter of taking it, placing it into the faucet. Taking either your cork gasket or your rubber gasket, putting it around it. We snug this up first. One thing to remember: make sure that when you when you put the put the cartridge in to tighten up, that the stem is all the way up to the gasket, and that will allow it to tighten in properly. And when you turn this in, don't over tighten it. Over tightening the uh, the cartridge will actually move, bend the brass a little. Same thing when you 
put your gasket on there. Um, and you're going to take your packing nut, put it down. Same thing. Do not over tighten this because you're you'll find if you do, it will be a little bit harder to turn, and you'll be questioning yourself why has that happened. And if it does, it's just a matter of backing this nut off a little, and uh, that should help. But it's just a matter of snugging the cartridge down, snugging the nut down, don't over tighten it. Uh, we'll put the chrome handle back on, like so. Fill up screwdriver. Tighten that back into place. Matter of placing your tab in. And there you go. That simple. Crane's a great product. It's been around forever. And uh, don't forget, stick your plug in the drain. It could save you a few headaches in the future. Good luck and have a great day.